Now I want to talk about one particular uh, area of interest that I, I am uh, very passionate about, and that's dementia, whether it's Alzheimer's or some other form. Let's stick with Alzheimer's for now, the, the dementia, form of dementia that we're most familiar with and is the most common. One discovery that researchers have made about CBD is that it can activate a, a receptor, and again I'm not going to go into the big chemical name of it, but this receptor degrades a protein, a naturally occurring protein, called beta amyloid. Beta amyloid is the protein that we all naturally produce, but people with dementia develop uh, an inability to clear it so that it kind of clumps together and disrupts the communication between brain cells. Think of beta amyloid as, as a clump of cornstarch that you throw into a vat of boiling water and it gets all gooey and gummy and interferes. It's kind of messy stuff, right? That's what beta amyloid uh, looks like and, and how it works to interrupt uh, transmission and, or communication between brain cells. Well, researchers for years in, in big pharmaceutical companies primarily have been looking for a way to try to mitigate the effects or to degrade beta amyloid if in fact this is what's causing the, the terrible disease of dementia, which is growing in numbers by leaps and bounds with our changing demographics. Research is still ongoing, but with this property discovered, uh, in my book, there is no reason why we need to look any further for more research and, uh, and for more trials in this area. And it's one of the opportunities that CBD has that could affect millions and millions of people.